Okay. One of the things all living creatures do, which is quite hard to animate, or at least can be time consuming to animate, is the little movements. Here is a dead character, there's no life in him. Even if you do broad motions, there's not really any life in him. But if you want to inject life in him, what you want is those little things, you know, just breathing, he's kind of, you know, as he looks around, you know, there's, there's just little motions. It's those little motions, those little subtle things that really sell life, you know, the breathing, the fact that when you look somewhere, you can't hold your head perfectly still. Anyway, here's a quick way to do it in Blender. Uh, here is the lovely Sintel from the Durian project, if I remember right. I've stuck one, two, three, four, five, I've stuck six keyframes in. Not very lifelike at all, but when you're doing corporate animation, you often need to just inject life into stuff really quickly, and this is the way I like to do it. Uh, it's this magical little button down here. Oops, a daisy. Not that. This is the automatic keyframe button, and it lets you just pop it things. What we want to do is record this. When we hit play and start moving stuff, this button means we'll start recording those motions as keyframes, and we're only interested in recording the rotation of that particular bone. Uh, so what we can do is hit play, hit R, and now just add a little sway. There we go. Now, the trick is when you get to, you have to keep an eye on the timeline because when you get to the end, it'll loop back round and you'll start writing keyframes over the top again and you'll end up with weird stuff going on. So you'll have to get used to clicking to finish to confirm your rotation right at the end of the uh, timeline. OK. But anyway, you can see already, she's just got a little bit more stuff going on. It's a wee bit vague at the moment. Let's add a bit more. Let's grab her, actually let's grab her upper body and do exactly the same thing. Again, rotation, that's magic. So, back to the start of the, of the timeline. I'm going to hit Alt-A to start playing, and then I'm going to hit R straight after it. I'm going to put some motion in, and then click, because otherwise you never leave rotation mode. So... Doesn't take much, just a little bit, and I'm going to click just to get out of rotation mode. Right. So, what do we got? Well, she's got life. Uh, one thing that can help, uh, if we have a quick look at rotation. Okay, this is all the keyframes that have been created. Alt O will smooth them out. Let's do the same with her neck, uh, just to get rid of some of the kind of more jerky motions. But already, look, she's got life. It's life, Jim. Cool. Okay, dokie.